Jorinda and Jorindel. In the middle of the deep gloomy wood, there stood an old castle. People wouldn't dare to go near the castle as there lived an old fairy. During daytime she can change to an owl and fly around the woods and as a cat and walk around the streets of the village. But at night she changed to her true self as an old fairy. People can hear the voice of many birds singing from the castle. For the fairy change any maiden that come near the castle to a bird, and if any young man came hundred paces near the castle they would become quite fixed like a stone and can't move. In the village there was a beautiful girl named Jorinda. Her voice is the most beautiful voice like the nightingale bird's song. And there was a shepherd lad named Jorindel. He was in love with Jorinda and soon they are going to get married. One day they wish to go for a walk. Jorinda was so excited and happy to walk alone with him in the beautiful forest. After a long walk Jorinda say under a tree and saw the turtle doves. Jorindel sat near his loved, he heard an owl screaming and rotating above them. Jorindel felt something bad is going to happen. So he looked around and saw that they were sitting near the walls of the old castle. He turned around to warn Jorinda. But Jorinda was singing beautifully. Suddenly she changed into a nightingale bird before his own eyes. He wanted to go near her but realized that he too was changed like a stone, he can't move even a finger. The sun set and the dark night came. He saw an old fairy coming towards him. She murmured some words and Jorindel can again move, he fell at her feet and cried to leave his darling Jorinda, but the fairy flew away taking the bird with her. He can't do nothing but staring at the old castle from far. If go near the castle he would change again into the stone. He didn't know what to do and every day he came near the castle looking for his Jorinda. He was so sad and days passed point one night he had a dream, I am that dream he saw a beautiful purple flower with pearl at the center. And with that flower in his hand he was going into the castle there he saw his love Jorinda. Suddenly he woke up and realized it was a dream. But in his heart he believed the dream may become true. So he searched for the purple flower throughout the forest. He came across many beautiful flowers with all colors but can't find the purple flower. Eight days passed. His half-heart told him it was just a dream, you can't do anything about it. It's fate just accept it and go to work. But his love for Jorinda is so great that he wanted to sacrifice his full life to get Bach Jorinda. So he believed his dream and searched for the purple flower. And on the ninth day he finally found a beautiful purple flower with white dot at the center. He was so happy and excited. He can't believe his own eyes. He took the flower in his hand and walked as fast as he could to the castle. He didn't know whether the flower is magic flower or not. But still he believed his dream and he longed for Jorinda. So he bravely walked into the castle with flower in his hand. Surprisingly, he saw him not changed into stone anymore. He now believed it's truly a magical flower. Seeing him coming with rage, old fairy tried to put spell on him but in vain. Nothing bad can touch him for he was holding the magical flower. He saw 700 of these cages with beautiful birds in them. Fairy flew away for she know that magical flower can kill her. Jorindel touched every birds with the flower and all the birds changed into beautiful girls. Finally he saw his love Jorindel standing among them. Jorinda can't believe her eyes that Jorindel had came this far for his love. She ran towards him and hugged him. Other maidens too thanked Jorindel for his act. From that day onwards the old fairy was nowhere to be seen and Jorinda and Jorindel lived happily ever after. Subscribe for more stories.